What's up everybody? Mitch here with Hyper and today we're going to talk about a billion dollar industry. That's right, consumers are spending over one billion dollars a year getting their ductwork cleaned and I'm wondering if they're getting it done right. So what I did was I went out and purchased a really popular air duct cleaning machine off Facebook Marketplace for two thousand dollars out of Kansas City, Missouri. Brought it back to our home base here in St. Louis and we're gonna see what happens. So this is what we got here. This is our large negative air machine and this is the debris that it has collected over the course of about two or three weeks. So this is the stuff that we can actually pull out. I'm gonna show you some of the objects. Look, look at that. <laughs> we're gonna take all this, we're gonna put this in our, in our system here. Oh man, this is pretty bad. So one of the things before we get started, I just want to let you guys know at how inconvenient this tool is, not only for the operator but the homeowner. You had to have electrical wires everywhere. Look at all these wires. This splits off on two different breakers. It draws so much power that it'll kick your breaker, so you got to separate it throughout the house. Right, so now we got balls, gloves, all types of crazy crap in here that we've pulled out of ducks already, and we're going to see if the roto brush can pull it out. Let's go. We're going to go. You ready, camera guy? <laughs> All right, so this is the most powerful Roto Brush Beast, supposedly. It runs two motors, two vacuums. We're gonna fire it up now. Here we go. It's really struggling. Get through the turn. Let's we'll shut it down. We'll hurry. We're not even done yet. Look in here. Hurry, 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 hurry. Faster, faster. Look. Look at that. This is your trunk line now. Do you see that? Oh man. That thing struggled just to get through. Look at all the debris it left in. We'll hit it with another pass. We're gonna hit it with another pass. We're gonna do one more time. We're gonna give Roto Brush a second chance. <laughs> It's stuck! guys don't need a gym membership. That was intense. I can't even do it. I'm out of breath. Man, I'm hurting. That's uh, I didn't do a good job. All right, so we gave Roto Brush a shot. This is the Roto Brush Beast. As you can see, it didn't do a very good job. It really struggled in the elbows, had a hard time getting it out. I actually scratched our van too over there, pulling it out. And now in the trunk line, a lot of times in Missouri where we're at, where we clean air ducts, your trunk lines are in a finished basement. So the ceiling is finished and they don't have a lot of access to these. So what you have to do, they're gonna stick their brush in here and they're gonna try to remove that debris. I'm gonna go ahead and give, I'm already pretty disappointed with the roto brush. I'm gonna give it a benefit of a doubt because there's a lot of people that use these things and they swear by them. I'm gonna see how good of a job it cleans the trunk line. So I'm gonna see if we can get this debris out of there right now. All right. So the concept behind the roto brush is that it's supposed to knock debris free and then suck it through this hole right here. You can kind of make a judgment call on yourself to see if any of that stuff would actually come through here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and see if it does. I'm not sure if it will or not. We're going. <laughs> this ain't gonna even work. Oh man, what's wrong with it? Is that the best it goes? Oh, let it kick in. Yeah, let it kick in. There we go. There we go. It's doing something now.
Good job, Roto Brush. Good job. You may have single handedly created the biggest piece of crap in air duct cleaning history. <laughs> Let's see what a real air duct cleaning system looks like. All right, welcome back. Now, watch this. Do I even need to say anything else? Y'all like just throwing your money away? Now that's some suction right there, boy. It's not rocket science, but it was a fun science experiment. And I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you.